Hello everyone, it's Teresa from Teresa Sheridan Designs and today I'm going to show you how to create a burnt edge effect in uh, Photoshop. Here is a sample of what we will be doing. This is kind of the finish effect. When we're done you'll have something similar to this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your image. I've chosen this image. This is from uh, the oldwestgallery.com online and they offer a package of almost 200 Old West photos so that you could download for free and use. He's just trying to get traffic to his website. So uh, I'm going to show you this in a black and white image but then I'm going to show you how to um, another option using a color image for some little different effects. So for this um, since this is a JPEG, the first thing we need to do is unlock our background layer so that we can make some changes to it. Okay, so double click on the background and uh, click OK and unlock your layer. I'm going to also add another layer behind this layer so that this layer then becomes its own object and I can uh, resize it and have a background there which will help us um, at, with some future steps. So the first thing we're going to do is is apply the torn paper edge effect. So you can download the brushes that I've used by clicking the download link at the bottom of this post. These are not my brushes. I found them on, on the internet somewhere and I'm just making them available to you. So uh, go ahead and load those brushes and I've already got them loaded here, and but instead of using the actual brush, what we're going to use is we're going to use the um, eraser tool to remove the sections of photo that we want to look like there's torn paper edges. So I'm going to select this first brush here, and I'm going to, you can see how big it is, and you can adjust the size as you want depending on the size of your image and the effect you're going after. Now I like to have the image be wider or the brush be wider than the image so that I don't have to apply the effect several times and it gives a more random look as opposed to a repeated look. So I am going to make this just a tad smaller and I'm going to remove that section of photo. And then because this is a double sided brush I'm going to go to the bottom and remove some down here. And you can see how it left us with a little bit of straight line here. So I'll go ahead and just, just randomly kind of use my brush to remove some additional uh, parts of the image. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse, I'm going to uh, reverse the tool so that it's um, now vertical instead of horizontal by clicking my little, my little map over here. And you can see now the brush is in a vertical orientation. And then I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of the photo here and again try and get rid of some of these straight edges. And again on the other side, like so. And I want to try to leave much of the horse intact here because I don't want to take away too much of the horse since he's already over on that side of the photo. So that looks pretty good. Okay, the next step is to apply an inner glow to our image which will give it the beginnings of that burnt edge effect look. So go down to your FX icon, select inner glow. We want this in the normal blend mode. We're going to select black. And then we're going to adjust the size like so. And you can see it's starting to give it that burnt edge effect. Okay, you don't make it too big, but you, you know, adjust the settings to your liking for whatever works for your image. I'm also going to increase the opacity or decrease, however you want to look at it, just so the edges are just that much darker right around the very edges. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like that. We're going to go ahead and leave that. And the last step is to apply a little bit of color so that we get that kind of orangey-ish tint you get from when things are kind of singed and burned. 
but this is a grayscale image, so we need to change the color mode so we can brush on some color. So we'll go up to Image, Mode, and we'll change it from grayscale to RGB. It's going to want to uh, merge your layers, but you don't have to to do this effect, so select Don't Merge. And I've chosen kind of a uh, goldy, orangish color here to apply for the effect that I want. and it'll just add kind of a singed look. So what we're going to do now is go to the brush tool. Depending on the size and the resolution of your image, you can adjust the size accordingly. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so I can try to keep it from getting on the outside of my image because it's applying it to the whole layer. So it's not going to apply it directly just to the photograph in this case. So. I'm going to select about 96 pixels here, and I've got my opacity down to about 10% because I do not want very much color, I just want a hint of color. So now I'm going to go around the outside and just add a little bit of this color here, just to kind of give it this little, this burnt edge effect. And I want to try to stay away from the background layer so that I don't have to remove too much of this color after the fact. Okay, so you know it doesn't have to be even. We all know that any, if it's really burnt, it sure isn't going to be even. So we'll just kind of apply a little bit, like so. And I think I'm going to go back in and mess with my inner glow just a little bit. Make it a little bit darker so the orangey isn't quite so orange. Or make the inner glow just a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so there we have our burnt edge effect, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you could um, apply a background, you know, color to your background, depending on where you're going to put it. You could apply a drop shadow effect behind it, whatever else you want to do. So if you were already working on a color image, for example, say this image, now this is a scanned drawing that belongs to a client of mine, and we gave this image this effect for her website. And you can see I've already applied the burnt edge effect. This image, like I said, it was scanned in, even though it's a black and white drawing, it was scanned in in color, so it's already in the correct color mode. So this color you have here for your brushes is not going to matter at this point in time because we're going to use a different tool. We're going to use the burn tool, okay? And now the burn tool will apply the effect only to the image itself, not to the background layer. Or I'm sorry, it doesn't apply it to the background layer, it just applies it to the outside of the image because that's all still the same layer. So now you can go ahead with the burn tool and just go along the outside of your image and it will just naturally kind of darken it and burn it all on its own without color. You can see even if I change the color here, it's still adding the same, the same type of effect, regardless of what I do. So now because this image is already in the, in the RGB color mode, the effect is a little bit more natural looking. So it kind of just depends on what you're doing here. But anyway, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. There you have it. Hope you have fun with it. And if you make something cool, let me know. Thanks for tuning in.